Hello. Is Minidisc the format that refuses to die? Well, maybe it is. Today, I'm having to work on this. It's uh, a Sony CHC CL5MD, which is a combination uh, unit with cassette and multi changer CD and Minidisc recorder. And a customer has asked me to make a recording onto Minidisc. But the machine's not working. Got a Minidisc stuck in there. Doesn't sound too healthy. Almost certainly just a drive belt, but uh, quite a lot of stripping down, I suspect, to get there. Let's have a look. Some years ago I worked on this. I think it had a problem with uh, a drive belt for the auto changer on the cassette mechanism. Uh, I don't remember how to take it apart, so uh, let's see. Okay. Yes, from what I remember, it's not that easy to work on. Because that's going to be the CD mechanism there. <laughs> There's no point taking the other side off. That just gets us to the back of the PCB. I think we have to take the front off and pull the mechanisms out. Are these screws real or are they decorative? Maybe I will have to take this side off. Not obvious. Maybe I have to take the top off. Okay, that's not hard. Okay, so I've undone some screws around this metal uh, screening can and undone a cable. So I'm hoping this screening can will come off, but it's still attached down there somewhere. Right. Can I take this off and does it help? Um, tricky. Obviously I'm supposed to take the whole mechanism apart but I haven't managed to work that out yet. Hmm. If only I could take the front off this would be a lot easier. I still don't have access to the mechanism, but I may be a bit closer. Okay, so here's the mechanism. There's the mini disc that's stuck in it. I think I'm going to have to take the mechanism out. It looks like it shouldn't be too hard now. Okay, I fished the uh, mini disc out, uh, and there's a drive belt which is uh, spectacularly hard to get to. There's a very hard to get to drive belt here. There's a, a spool there with a belt on it, which connects to a pulley just a bit further forward. Um, I'm not sure how to access that. The belt certainly looks slack. I can easily probably get the belt off, but I won't be able to get it back on again. You can actually see it from the front of the machine as well. You can just about see the drive belt on the pulley there. Maybe it can be replaced actually from here. Ah. Okay. I fished the drive belt out actually from the front. That is an extremely short belt. I'm going to have some trouble sourcing that. And it's very sloppy indeed. Well, I don't have a drive belt of that size, so uh, until we can get one, I'll have to see if I can um, bring it back to life a little bit. So uh, maybe using your favourite mug, we'll try uh, boiling water. Right, I'll um, 
actually microwave that for a little bit as well and uh, hopefully we can bring the belt back into shape a bit. Right, let's see if this belt's any better. I'll take a measurement, approximate. So we're looking at around about the uh, 22 millimeters. It's going to be somewhat less than that. I imagine the proper drive belt is going to be in this sort of, yeah, that sort of area, maybe 18 millimeters diameter. I have to say that I don't think that's worked. I don't think there's enough twang in the belt. No, that's not going to fit and work. So despite my attempts at uh, boiling the drive belt, that one is not going to go back on. It's clearly uh, stretched too far. You can feel that it's still stretching, look. No, no, no point in refitting that. Well, does boiling drive belts work? Not today it didn't. So I'm going to have to order one of those extremely small drive belts from somewhere and then uh, try this again later. Well, here we are a couple of weeks later. We have a uh, drive belt, actually I ordered two. Uh, they had to come from Greece, I think it was. So uh, that's the very small drive belt for the uh, mini disc. Uh, I'd reassembled the unit so the missus didn't have a, a missing stereo in the kitchen. So I will um, strip it down again. So I had disconnected this cable because uh, it wasn't resetting properly. And uh, Mrs. Video 99 wanted to be able to use the stereo in the kitchen. So by disconnecting that, it allowed the, the unit to uh, just function. But, uh, that gets us to the mini disc again. So I'd already un unplugged that cable. Let's unplug these two. See, there are lots of unpopulated uh, spots on the uh, mini disc board. I wonder what uh, options they were for. Look, several uh, ICs that could have been fitted. That looked like a memory IC. I'm not sure what that one would have been for. All right, so we have access to the uh, mini disc deck again. So the drive belt in question, you remember, is just there. There's a front and a rear pulley, both white plastic. So we need to uh, pop that drive belt off and fit the new one. Little fiddly, but doable. New one. Okay, I've fitted that belt and I'll just show you on the microscope uh, what it looks like in its proper position. Okay, now I can uh, reassemble everything and test it. Just uh, rotating this to get it into the fully ejected position. Right, a little bit easier to reassemble like that, I think. Right, this screening can is the fiddly bit because clearly I think you're supposed to take the front off uh, in order to uh, remove this. So it's a little bit awkward, but we can do it. Refitting this top, I see there's a switch here, and I believe that's operated by the open close mechanism here. So to reduce the chances of crushing it when fitting the top, it'd be best to uh, open the uh, cassette door before refitting the top panel.
I think that's reassembled enough. I need to refit all the screws. It's good enough that I can power up and uh, see if the uh, mini disc mechanism will open and close and operate. Okay, it's doing its uh, CD auto changer shuffle thing. Saying read error on one of the CDs. I don't know why that is. I don't think it's a CD in there. That seems to be working properly. Yep, mini disc is working. Well, I've just powered up again and we're getting no more of those read errors. So I think we're 100% there and the mini disc is working nicely. And now you can see the machine doing a double speed dub from CD to mini disc, including all the track titles from CD text, although it doesn't do the disc title. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching us work through this uh, mini disc repair. Please remember to like, share and especially subscribe. And I'll do a lot more content on audio and video technology in the near future. Bye for now.